An autopsy will be held tomorrow for the woman who was found stabbed several times in a ravine near the Scripps Institution of Oceanography. And 10 News reporter Allison Ash is live with why police are now rethinking their stance on whether she was murdered. Allison? Yeah, in just the past three hours, the homicide lieutenant working this case said that they have found some evidence down in this ravine along with that woman that has changed their stance on how she died. Instead of murder, they're now calling it a suspicious death. Police won't go on the record with why they now believe the woman who died shortly after she was found here in this ravine bleeding from several stab wounds wasn't the victim of homicide. These landscapers found her right down the slope from Birch Aquarium behind this work shed. She was still alive. She was, um, uh, I believe, not responsive, but she had vital signs. She was still alive. She died at the hospital as detectives combed the scene for evidence, finding her purse and a jacket, but no ID. This is very shocking, of course. Ellen Scott is a volunteer at Birch Aquarium who, like dozens of others, walks past the area every day. Make me think twice about, uh, you know, walking up here in the dark. Actually, I am very concerned about anybody that's up in this area that is not with somebody. You should always go in a buddy system. Terry Rothwell is protected by the dogs she walks through the area every day, but that doesn't lessen her concern that a woman may have been attacked here. Now, police are hoping that fingerprints can help them identify that woman who they say is in her 30s, appears to be Hispanic, and is uh, a heavy set. Now, as of this evening, they say they have not ruled out suicide. We're live in La Jolla, Allison Ash, 10 News.